Namaskar, I'm Suruchi Das and you're watching Rhythm News. The Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert on earth, renowned for its dry, barren landscapes, is transforming in a way that defies its reputation. In a stunning twist of nature, NASA has released satellite images revealing unexpected patches of green sprouting across the desert's sandy expanse. What was once considered the epitome of arid wilderness is now showing signs of life raising the question. Is this sudden greening a cause for celebration or a warning of greater dangers ahead? The recent transformation stems from unprecedented rainfall brought on by an extra tropical cyclone that hit northwestern Africa on September 7th and 8th. Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia and Libya Regions known for drought saw unexpected downpours, with some areas receiving more than a year's worth of rain in just two days. Normally, dry lakes began to fill and vegetation swiftly sprouted in low-lying areas. The modest satellite captured stunning images of the change, showing lakes shimmering in blue and new plant growth flourishing in what are typically barren stretches of desert. This unexpected weather event was linked to a northward shift of the Intertropical Convergence Zone ITCZ, a tropical rain belt that normally remains further south. Climate models suggest that this boundary is being pushed further north as global temperatures rise, making regions like the Sahara wetter than they have been for centuries. Is this sign of nature's resilience or a symptom of a world spinning out of balance? Climate researchers are quick to point out that this phenomenon may not be as positive as it appears. The greening of the Sahara is likely tied to two major drivers, the transition from El Nino to La Nina and ever-intensifying effects of climate change. While La Nina brings wetter conditions to West and Central Africa, the bigger concern is the warming planet. As temperatures arise, the ITCZ moves north dragging tropical weather patterns into traditionally dry regions like the Sahara. According to experts, this shift is a double-edged sword. While areas of the desert are receiving unprecedented rain, other parts of the region are facing extreme drought. Scientists also warn that the greening of the desert may be linked to a quieter Atlantic hurricane season, as tropical waves spawned by the IDCZ are encountering cooler air and water, limiting hurricane formation. However, with every shift in climate patterns, the risks of extreme weather increase globally. The recent rains have affected millions of people across 14 countries, with flash floods destroying homes, roads and infrastructure in some of the most sparsely populated regions. The World Food Programme estimates that 4 million people are now at risk of flooding, while others face the opposite problem a worsening drought due to disrupted rainfall patterns. As NASA researchers study the rare event, some scientists caution that this may be only the beginning of a more erratic and extreme weather events. Climate change is not just altering landscapes, it's reshaping the way we understand natural disasters. Experts like Karsten Hostein and Moshe Arman stress that every climate event, even a greening desert, is now impacted by human-induced warming and this could lead to even more unpredictable and dangerous weather in the future. The Sahara's transformation raises a critical question. Is this the start of a new ecological chapter for the desert or a stark warning of the chaos climate change is bringing? As the world watches this once barren region come to life, the answer may be unfolding in the storm clouds overhead. Jai